under the surface You don't know what you'll find Until it's your time No second chances But all we can do is try mm. Made up my mind I can't see you But I hear your call Baby, hold on now We're going home USB charging, that comes from my auxiliary battery, UHF radio, that comes from my auxiliary battery. Well, I've got to admit, even with all the dramas, um, it's uh, some pretty spectacular, barren country to drive. Well, apart from the fact that uh, I just got a whopping big burger at... Um, Gascoigne Junction I wasn't able to get a battery uh, we don't see the point of driving 300 kilometer round trip to um, round trip to Carnarvon and back to go for a battery so I'm just going to risk it and I'll just run the fridge off the main starter battery so no auxiliary battery we have it, our first close up of Mount Augustus. Sure is a big bastard. And I sure hope the caches, the two caches here that I want to find out at the top of it. Wow, beer o'clock at the foothills of Mount Augustus. After the uh, trials and tribulations of batteries and whatnot this morning, we got here and uh, trying to sit down on the grass, listen to these bloody Major Mitchells going bananas. Time for a coldie. Well, good morning folks, it's um, 4.30 in the morning. I don't think I'll be getting any more sleep. Coffee on the go too. Yep. Couldn't sleep with the birds. Someone woke them up. Yeah. Well, they woke me up. 
still, they're pretty cool. I think they can get annoying. Yeah. But they're pretty cool. And there's the problem of parking under trees. Little bastards. Go grab a deer case, what do you reckon? Starting to warm up a bit. So it is starting to warm up, so we shouldn't delay too much. We were just having too much fun watching the birds back at camp. It was quite relaxing. But anyway, um, the Kotka Gorge Trail is where we're headed. Well, no, here we are at uh, Mount Augustus. And... Uh, I'm looking to find yet another remote case saying I'm five meters away and I can see a likely looking rock pile up there so I'm guessing that's uh, probably where we are so try and make me way up the rock face see if we can bag another case well unfortunately the uh, the lid of the container here is broken so um, it's not going to last the test of time if we get any water. The um, the bag for the logbook has perished, so I've got a few of them in my kit. So I've done some maintenance and uh, replaced the bag. And I picked up a um, a travel bug earlier in our journey, and its um, its mission is to visit as many national parks as possible. So it's a fitting place to drop it off here. Wow, cattle pool on the Lions River at the base of uh, Mount Augustus. What a little oasis in the middle of extremely dry country this is. Very nice indeed. Who would have thought things you find in the bush when you keep your eyes open, eh? Not rusting the way. Yeah, you're very good, Nick. Not really noticeable in the engravings. Nothing noticeable? No, I can't make any doubt. Oh, I bet it's nice and cool under here, though. I don't know if that rock's been formed or it's uh, fallen there. So that's the engravings, is it? Yeah. Oh. The rock's slippery. It is. <laughs> Very slippery. I'm having trouble keeping my... There's something on here. Yeah, there's something on the wall there. That you... On the rock that you're on too. Yeah, it looks like a snake. Yeah, because there's little pictures there too. Oh looks, yeah. Looks like a bush chook. You see? Yeah. You have. Somebody was obviously bored and hot and thought, well, I'll sit under this rock and nice I'll... Nice and cool. Yeah. I'll scratch some pictures into it. Yeah. And uh, in 5,000 years' time, all these silly tourists can come and have a look at it. There's nothing on the roof. Here we go. I'm going to self... Oh, Warren, <laughs> sake. I have to do it in an enclosed space. <laughs> Good on you. That is so slippery, that rock. It's yeah. not funny. It's not wet. No, but it's dry as, but it's just polished. So, so much. And slippery. All right, we're in. So you can't really make out whatever the engravings are on this particular rock, but you can see that there's some stuff on this ledge here again 
not being indigenous it's not decipherable to me and there's uh, what Warren said was possibly a serpent certainly looks like that to me well rather interesting little gully here up at Firestone Rock and the petroglyphs some more petroglyphs down the road so we might go have a look at them because it's too late in the day for doing a gully walk or a summit walk that's for sure a little bit of a cave and some more petroglyphs there There's the summit itself of Mount Augustus. Hits just keep on coming. Tried to move my car out from under the trees yesterday so they didn't get covered in crap. That didn't exactly work, did it? Morning, young fella. I see you got your hands full, but I think I um, need to wish a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll talk to you about your birthday later. <laughs> it hasn't. Had some issues last night with the bushman. Had stopped working. We played around with a couple of things. Got it up and running. Thought that we had the problem resolved. Warren got up at 3 o'clock this morning. Bushman dead. So now we've got to try and fit two people's worth of uh, equipment into the one fridge. It's going to be fun. We've got John over here. We're just having a chat, talking about things. John's got a nice little rig over there. And we're going to go hit the road and see if uh, see if this road's open and we can get into Kennedy Ranges via the opposite route to what we come in to here. Uh, see if you've got the courage to go past the road close, Brian. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> no. I won't be going past the road close. So. Anyway. 20 to 10, almost time to hit the road. It is, frog and toad time. Frog and toad time. Here's the access we want to take to Kennedy Range. The road okay. was closed, the sign's still up. We got a closed road, which means we have to go the long friggin' way back to Gascoigne and come back. This is going to be our little camp for the evening. And, uh, it's been hot today, 39 or so degrees. So it's uh, beer o'clock, I'm feeling a bit weary now, but uh, Warren's obviously got more energy than me and uh, he's making some apple crumble for dessert. So it looks pretty good to me. Well, I don't know if I said this to you this morning, Warren, but um, yeah, birthday. I don't know if I said it on camera. No, Happy no. birthday. Shame yeah. about your fridge, yeah. but could be worse, could be a starter battery, you could be going through all the shit I'm going through. <laughs> and what's the problem? All your food's in my fridge and all my food's not. Well, it is, but you just can't find it. Yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> 